What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Will back with another video. Now today, 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 we're gonna be talking about the defensive side of the football for the Cleveland Browns again. On my last video, I made it like a minor mistake. I was like in between picking on which video I was gonna bring y'all first. Um, and then in that act, I said like, this video is about Denzel Ward, blah, 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 blah. But the entire video was about the title and not Denzel Ward. This video is about Denzel Ward uh, and the cornerback situation after what the Cleveland Browns got going on. So first thing first, man, hit that like and sub button. We got a 100 sub giveaway. Uh, we've been doing kind of good on our views and um, our viewership. So I appreciate all the new subs and I'm getting love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Hit it, hit the follow on Twitter and Instagram. I can follow y'all boys back. Um, I'm going to start a Patreon when I get to like, like 700, 750 subs or like a thousand subs. Um, just cause like I, I'm kind of good at like you know interacting and like texting back. Like I reply to every comment. You drop a comment, I got you. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get at you. Uh, but so today we're gonna be talking about Denzel Ward and the Cleveland Browns. Um, I haven't made a Greg Newsom video. You guys comment down below if I, you think I should make a separate one for him. But this is gonna be about Denzel Ward. Denzel Ward, as we know, he got signed last year. He got that contract extension, and then on top of getting that contract extension. Um, he got kind of like an off year. He got kind of picked apart by Mike Williams. Uh, Mike Williams kind of always picks him apart. Um, Jamar Chase got him at the end of the season. Um, he got he got he got a little bit embarrassed though. I mean, he he got cooked by a couple of different wide receivers. Um, and then on top of him getting cooked by a couple of different wide receivers, he just didn't have a whole bunch of stellar year or stellar moments. Um, now I could be just doing this off of recency bias, but I think the only cornerback on the Cleveland Browns last year that really went out and like impressed everybody and had everybody buzzing was Martin Emerson. Um, Denzel Ward, he was having on and off games, um, high and low. And now that could a lot be to do with um, the defensive coordinator and that could a lot to be do with, um, you know, team chemistry, everybody gelling and stuff. But Denzel's a, Denzel's a vet. He's in what, his fifth, sixth year. He's been a pro bowler before. He's a top corner. He's highly paid. It's no excuse for him to have a bad year. Um, and I'm not saying he had a bad year, but he definitely didn't have a career year last year. Um, and I'm hoping and expecting um, with this new Browns defense and with the new defensive coordinator and some of those communication issues could get fixed, that Denzel Ward could go out there and have a good season. Uh, now, what context clues do I have that would assume that Mr. Ward, the warden, will have a good year? Uh, first thing first, um, the immersion of Martin Emerson and Greg Newsom. Um it's not really being talked about as a camp battle as of now. Either no, I'm looking at it as a camp battle. Um, others not really talking about it as a camp battle because they have played. I mean, they're gonna get on. The both of them are gonna go get PT. You know what I'm saying? So Ward, Newsom, and Emerson is gonna be out there a lot. Period. Point blank. But what does that mean for Denzel Ward? It's Denzel Ward's. He, he's the star cornerback on the team, and he's paid as such. So I think what's gonna happen a lot is that we're gonna be able to have Denzel follow. And play a lot more man. So that's one thing that I've been hearing about the jump source system. It's going to be a lot more man getting played. Um, and it's going to be a lot more of people going out there and rushing the passer. And people covering the man. Um, it's really going to be based on how long can we cover for Miles and Zadarius and O and Thomason to get home. That's what's going to be rushing like on 35, 37, 38, 30 long. So you know what I'm saying? It's going to be how long can our corner, our cornerbacks cover so we could get after the passer. That's what's going to be able to get us off the field. Um, they're on the back end. They're going to have to hold up. So, Miles, like I said, Miles and Zedarius could eat, eat up and get their numbers. Because they're going to go home. Um, you just got to give them a little bit of time. And vice versa. You know what I'm saying? It's making the quarterback jobs easier when you're getting after the passer. And it's making it, it all translate all as one hole. Because they're all one hole defense. And they're not, like, playing separate outside of each other. That's what they were doing last year where they was playing a lot of separately, causing to a lot of communication issues. You had Denzel playing cover two when they were supposed to be in quarters. You had, you know what I'm saying? It's just a whole bunch of different blown coverages due to communication issues. I feel like with that stuff being solved, a lot of the stuff that happened, like we got, we got, I ain't, you know, I'm, you know, I'm kind of unbiased when it comes to being real with y'all here, but a couple of our receivers tore us apart last year. Um, like Garrett Wilson got off on this. Uh, um, Mike Evans, Martin Emerson shoved Mike Evans down, if we remember. Um, I think Tyreek, no, Jalen Waddle got off on us. 
Um, I'm pretty sure, like I said, Jamar Chase got off on us. I'm pretty sure um, Mike Williams got off on us. Uh, no, nah, I don't think Dan Moore. I forgot who all the top receivers we played, but that's a lot of people that I'm saying that got off on us. And that is on Denzel Ward's watch. You know, Mario Emerson shut down Mike Evans, so we can't give him credit for that. So I expect him to show up, or he's gonna probably be traded by the end of by the start of next season. That'll be my take. I think he has to show up. Um, he has to be one of the. He has to be significantly better than Emerson and Newsom, or I think he might get traded. And and I know that's not what a lot of people want to hear, but it's the honest God truth. He's a good player. He's a great corner. He has all the potential to be a top five corner in his league, and I truly believe in him. But I also believe in Emerson and Newsom, and um, if he looks expendable because of their growth, or he looks like he's on the same level as them, man, I definitely could see a way and a pathway where Denzel Ward gets traded. Um, not this season, maybe, but maybe next. Um, another thing, like I said, so the ability with them just upgrading the defensive line and going to get a new defensive coordinator is already going to be helping Denzel Ward and helping out that cornerback room. Um, you know, everybody's, like I said, becoming and getting on the same page. A part of getting on the same page is having help, you know, having Delpit back there, having Thornhill back there. Uh, Thornhill was one of the best pass breakup guys. So having another good pass breakup safety, having Ronnie McLeod that had a good year with the Colts, all of it is, it, it, I haven't said nothing negative, mind you besides maybe not signing or adding a linebacker, but just getting our linebackers back and healthy. All of that is all helping Denzel Ward's position. He's getting defensive ends and rushers to go get the passer to make that, that time to cover lower. And he's also got a new safety. So he got safety help and they done gave him DE help. So it's really no excuse. I would say for him having a bad year. Um, now I could be overestimating and over saying how, um, like, I, like I said, once again, go back to it. I'm not saying he had a terrible season last year, um, but it's not like he was a star player. You know, it not, it's not like opposing teams are not coming to us saying, mm, they got Denzel Ward and that's not their own side. I didn't hear that last year. Like I said, if I'm wrong, y'all can always let me know, comment down below. But nobody's saying that. Like, nobody's like, ah, damn. We're going to have to attack Martin Emerson and Greg Newsom because they got Ward over there. He's paid like that. That's how he should be regarded, and that's how he should perform. Period, point blank. Because we go and do this with every position. Deshaun Watson, 230 million. Miles Garrett, a big old contract. He should, you know what I'm saying? Miles Garrett take a playoff. Everybody want to chop his head off. There's a Ward's one of the top paid corners in the in the league. If these, if uh, offense comes and they're not looking like, damn, we can't throw to him, or damn, let's not try to run shit by him, or dang, let's not uh go that way. Let's it'd be a little bit smarter to go at this guy. If they're not thinking that and they're like, oh, it's just Denzel Ward, that's that's not good because he's paid as he's paid like he's Jalen Ramsey. People not throwing at Jalen Ramsey in his prime. People not throwing at Sauce Garner. People not throwing at Pastor Tim. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm. That's all I'm really coming from with it. I don't want y'all feeling like I'm hard or I'm saying the guy's trash. But the way he's paid, um, he needs to be at least a top eight corner this year. And if he's eight and Newsom's ten and Martin Emerson's like thirteen. I can see him being gone. Y'all comment down below how y'all feel about that, man. That's just my honest opinion and my honest take on it. He's a great corner, um, but he definitely needs to be a little bit better for the way he's played. Um, the entire defense, everybody on that defensive line, um, except Miles Garrett, needs to be better um, this year, period, point blank. It's no, it's, it's no excuse for it. Uh, we have so many high fucking picks. Excuse my language. So many high picks. Uh, you can kind of hear the irritation in my voice talking about this. Uh, Delpit, high pick. Ward, first. Newsom, first. Emerson, third. Miles, first. JOK, second. Delpit was a second. Uh, we invested in the gray, a greedy Williams. He was a second. He's gone now. Who else? Signing Anthony Walker. All the people that we signed, Dalvin Thompson, Darius Smith, I don't know where they was drafted at, Perrion in the fourth. You know, 
like Iaki in the third. These are luxury picks we're spending at this defensive position, and they need to perform, period, point blank, and they're going to pay it to do so, so we shall see. But like I said, man, honey sub giveaway, you know, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, comment down on any video. We get you locked in. I need at least 10 entries to get y'all away a brown jersey. It's your boy, Will. Y'all boys be safe. Love y'all. We out.